Did you hear? And in this video, we're going to see an amazing plugin which is going to enable you to create uh, live breakpoints in Figma. So this is going to be a game changer whenever you're working on a web design projects or any design project which is going to need some responsive designs since you're going to be able to present it to stakeholders exactly like it is in real life. So let's jump right into Figma and the very first thing that we're going to do is uh, as we have uh, these three frames right here, we're actually going to go ahead and activate this plugin which you're going to find in the Figma community. So it's uh, free and uh, you can uh, basically access it uh, right here. I'm going to click on continue and uh, the plugin is called Breakpoints uh, as the name of the feature suggests. So in order to use uh, this plugin, it's actually very easy. The very first thing you want to do is to have uh, your different uh, screens in desktop tablet and mobile, you can add as many breakpoints as you wish. So if you want uh, even uh, smaller tablets and bigger tablets and uh, very large, uh, um, sort of like uh, uh, larger than desktop uh, sizes such as TVs, uh, you can definitely add them. And the very first thing you want to do is to click on create uh, this uh, new uh, breakpoint. And as you can see, this uh, frame or instance is going to appear within your Figma file. So the very next thing that you want to do is to basically set this up. So as you can see in this small window, you're going to have the width of the different breakpoints and you can even add breakpoints in the height. We're going to just use the width feature for now. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to select uh, the frame of the mobile. And I'm noticing here that I have a 390 uh, pixels of width. So I'm going to simply set it up right here. So it's all very easy, very customizable. So I'm just going to add uh, these exact breakpoints in order to match uh, my specific uh, design file. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to update this one as the last and uh, now in order to add the breakpoints is super easy you simply have to uh, select the first one which uh, is uh, going to be or actually let's go over here on this one for mobile so i'm going to select this one and now i'm going to select the actual frame and as you can see i'm already seeing a preview of the mobile we're going to fix the height in just a moment but let's just set up also the other ones is going to be tablet so as you can see here horizontal and uh, i'm going to select the tablet now i'm going to add one more breakpoint on the far right in order to sync up the desktop version so as you can see here we have them all synced up since we see these three checks and i'm just going to bring this section all the way to the top in order to use command and uh, just uh, update the height so that we can see uh, what the real height looks like. And uh, now, as you can see, we have this live breakpoint, which uh, makes uh, it uh, um, look like uh, <clears throat> an original file, <laughs> an original live uh, version. So this uh, can be, of course, uh, used in conjunction to the um, to the uh, layout constraints, which uh, you can see uh, over here. And I have an entire video on constraints in my uh, YouTube, cha YouTube channel. And you can essentially find there everything that you need to know in order to learn about this feature so that you can learn, you can basically uh, add it all together in one single final uh, design. Hope this video was helpful and uh, I also want to remind you that uh, I recently launched a massive discount on pretty much all the courses which I created over the past years. You can find it in the uh, link in the description and uh, basically you're going to find uh, a course for pretty much anything uh, that uh, you want in order to, to get started into web and UI UX design. So I have an entire course on how to get started in UI UX design which is over four hours 
uh, over six hours of design theory and entire course on how to create a design portfolio, which is going to make you stand out uh, in the overcrowded market these days, as well as all of the design softwares and even how to find and sell to high ticket design clients. So if you're interested in, in leveling up uh, your design skills, definitely check it out. But now we're going to continue and I'll see you in the very next video.